I just got the Jumpman Jax and I cannot wait to unbox this shoe and show you guys all the details. So lifting the lid off right here, you can see you have your Travis Scott branding right here. And then on the front side right here, it says Jack with the same branding there. And you see where this open hole is at? That's where the size label usually goes on the box, which is actually on this part of the box right here. And then going to the sides of the box, you have your Jumpman right here on the side. Same thing there. And then in the bottom corners, you have your Cactus Jack smiley face, the Cactus Jack branding, and then the Jumpman logo inside that. Now looking at the back side of the box, you have your Jack branding as well. And then you have your circle here, and that's going to represent, if I put the lid back on the box, as you can see, you have a red Jumpman right there. And then like we talked about earlier, you have the size tag right here on the front end of the box. Now behind the lid, you're gonna have all over red on the inside of the lid. And then on the inside of the box, it's gonna be red as well if you look at the sides right here. Hopefully you can see that. Now you have a brown paper and it's gonna be an all over print that says Jack on there. It's gonna be kind of a gloss finish. Then you have a dust bag or a tote bag, some people like to call it, that comes inside of the box as well. And then you have your straps right here, like your tote straps. And then you got these orange wax tips right here at the end of the laces. And then inside of the bag, you have the paper wrapping all around the shoe. So I'm gonna unwrap one for you guys real quick. So basically there's a sticker right here and on the sticker it says the jack aka the jack on the bottom of the shoe graphic will wear off with use over time now on this paper i'm not sure if you guys can see it from here but i have photos as well there's gonna be that same jack branding it's so i love how they went about the packaging and the details and execution of that part and i wonder are they going to do that on every single release or is this going to be something that we only see on this release in particular because it's the first release and then after that we get like normal boxes and normal packaging so i'm interested to see how far they go when it comes to a shoe like this and again i think the retail price is like 200 bucks with that in this type of model of sneaker i could understand why they do have premium packaging that goes along with every release in the future as well now unwrapping the paper right here you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Now, before we dive too deep into the details of this shoe, you know we got to talk about the history first. So, obviously, you guys know Travis Scott and Cactus Jack and the branding and everything that we have seen over the years when it comes to the Jordan brand releases, the Nike releases, and his other collaborations, which we have seen roughly 20 different shoes over the past five years. And some of the notable releases are going to be the Sail Air Force Ones, the Oilers Fours, the Mocha Highs, numerous Air Jordan 1 Lows, his trainers, his Air Maxes, and we can't forget to mention everybody's favorites, the purple and brown, Travis Scott Air Jordan 4s and the Friends and Family colorway. Now when it comes to this shoe in particular, this is kind of like a hybrid model with a bunch of different models incorporated into the sneaker. I think of the Metcon trainers right here on the side of the foot, the Nike Air Trainer 1, I think of the Air Jordan 1, and I also think of the Dunk Low. We know that Travis Scott loves rocking SBs and he was known for wearing those throughout the years as well, so it makes sense why they would make a sneaker that looks similar to that model. Now as I was thinking about this shoe before I started to make this video, I was like, you know what, there is a lot to cover when it comes to the comparisons the cuts the materials everything like that but again i'm giving you guys a quick look at the shoe and if you guys want to see a more in-depth detailed comparison review with all these other models that i mentioned and more about the history and how we got to this point because remember these were originally called the cut the checks and those were actually kind of shaped a little bit different than these which again we can talk about that in another video if you guys want just leave a comment down below in the comment section for me if i get enough comments i'll make sure i make a full detailed video about the history of this shoe and where i think these actually might go in the future now besides all that that starting with the outsole as you can see right here you have an all over semi translucent gum outsole and like I said earlier when reading the tag it says Jack right here and if you look at both of the outsoles it's Jack in the same direction and then it's more of a brown colored in the text and this actually rubs off as you wear the shoe. So it's not too deeply embedded into the sneaker. And it also makes me wonder how people are gonna quote unquote judge each other on how often they wear their sneakers because you know how everybody's like, wear your shoes, wear your shoes. Well, this is actually a prime example of that, right? Because if you wear your shoes more, then you're gonna be able to get that letter to come off of the shoe. And it's the same thing how they do the elements on the upper on sneakers, not this one in particular, but like on SBs where we see collaborations. If you wear the shoe more often and it starts to fray and tear or they switch the colors or whatever it may be la to chicago air jordan ones you name it the different concepts that we've seen over the year i like how they incorporated it on the outsole and this is something honestly that we don't see too often typically it's on the upper of the sneaker so again we see travis scott doing a lot of things with the backward swoosh and giving us new styles and elements and cuts and materials so it definitely makes me like how they incorporated that here on the outsole hey yo just real quick i wanted to let you guys know we got a bunch of new merch on the website shopdnashow.com also you guys 
guys can click on any of the links of the product tag just below the video here if you're watching on your mobile devices. I can't wait to see you guys rocking the gear. Whenever you cop something, make sure you post it on IG so I can see it and then I'll repost it. All right, let's get back to the video. Now going up to the midsole right here, looks like a polyurethane material, but it actually feels a little bit more stiff than that. So honestly, I'm not exactly sure what the material is on the shoe. Either way, it has a lot of texture and elements to it. It's not just a flat material all the way around. As you can see on the back end, it looks a lot more like the Nike Trainer 1. And then on the front end, you have some elements right here that go and separate here on around the toe, giving you more depth and texture on that element as well. Now going to the upper filling, the materials on the all white leather, or should I say cell leather, it's more of a cell type color, not all pure white. But this material honestly feels pretty solid. It's got a decent tumble to it as well. And as I feel it right here on the side panels or around the front end, it doesn't feel super stiff. It feels pretty soft. It doesn't feel like the best leather ever. Honestly, I feel like for a $200 retail price point on a sneaker that's not actually a pair of Jordans, a pair of retros, I think they definitely got to go hard with the quality because typically we see on these type of models of sneakers, they usually hit around that, you know, $140 to $160. So with this being a collaboration, a new model and these different elements, they definitely have to come premium when it comes to the materials being at that $200 price point. So I think and I hope that all the other releases in the future continue to stay consistent with that quality of material. It's similar to the two-tone patterned color blocking and you're gonna have all over sale leather here on the front end, on the strap, around the eye stay areas and then on the back end wrapping around the heel as well. And then on the vamp right here on the top, you can see you have a dark mocha canvas right here all throughout that area. It's pretty stiff, it doesn't have too much give to it. It looks like it's durable, it's built to last. And and that's gonna be the same thing here. You guys can hear it, it's pretty rough. That's gonna be on the side of the foot on the outside and on the inside, and then that's gonna wrap around the collar right here all the way around this area. They added this premium piece of leather right here on the back end, and if you flip it back, which I don't think it's really meant to be flipped back, but I flipped it back earlier just cause I was checking it out and messing with it. You can see that's kind of like a style, right? I don't think anybody's gonna wear them like this, but you have your stitching that goes around here. You have your double stitch there, and then you have your extra padding right here around the Keeleys in the ankle area. So I like how they added that little element and it kind of created some separation from the shoe. And like I said earlier, you got your backward swoosh right here, classic to the Travis Scott branding. And that's gonna be more of a creamy suede right here all throughout that area with the single stitch around it. and this same thing right here with the smaller swoosh on the inside of the foot in the correct direction as well. And another thing that I forgot to mention, you have a small triangular patch right here on the back end. I'm not exactly sure why they added this, but it does give it a little bit more of texture to the sneaker. And then like I said, at the front end, we're seeing with more texture and how they kind of did the same thing on the midsole. They did that also with the toe right here. If you look around the mudguard area, you can see that you have a leather that's folded over right here on the outside of the foot. And then on the inside of the foot, you have another leather piece that's coming around, but this time it's actually your raw cut finish right here. And that's another switch up on this sneaker in particular. If you look right here, they folded the leather all the way down around the vamp area on the toe, and then they stayed consistent like that all around the outside of the foot. And then they kept that fold going even with the swoosh right here on the back end and stayed consistent on this piece and this piece right here. But if you look at the swoosh on this side, you can see you have your rough finish on there. Now, these come standard with a pair of all white or I would say more of a sail, light sail kind of colored lace that matches the upper. And then you have your brown mesh right behind that. And again, your Velcro strap here and then you have your premium leather on there. And this is a Travis Scott logo right here that's stitched with your raised stitch. You have a premium leather tongue right here, nice and tumbled. Feels pretty soft. This doesn't feel like the best tongue I've ever felt when it comes, that just, <laughs> that came out wrong. <laughs> this doesn't feel like the best material on the tongue that I have felt. Either way, <laughs> it feels solid though, for sure, it feels solid. And then on the center of the tongue right here, you have your red Jumpman with your red Travis Scott branding at the top end right there. And then on the inside also, like I forgot to mention earlier, these come with an additional pair of brown laces you have a brown with a texture of a white speckle into them. And then you have more of a like creamy, not like sail type, but just like a tan lace. So you have four laces that come with the shoes, special packaging, a tote bag, extra papers. These are the type of elements that come with a more premium release. Now, when it comes to a regular pair of J's for 200 bucks, they don't give you all that. You just get the shoes and maybe a retro box and that's it. Now these, they have to hype it up some more and add more elements to it. And it's probably cheaper for them to make this shoe too. This is a new model, so maybe not, I don't know. Either way, like I said, I hope they stay consistent doing this on every single release because I've seen like four or five, maybe even six different colorways so far that just look dope. Like honestly, I'm excited to kind of go after these 
and get the pack and put them all together and have all the colorways but if, if all the colorways are I, I don't know maybe i take that back because i don't know if i want every colorway sometimes not every colorway is good but either way the colorways that i have seen they look pretty dope i like how they go with different outfits different elements different things like that and we've seen travis scott wearing a lot of different colorways we've seen other people wearing different colorways and then we've seen mock-ups and different renditions and things like that that we're expected to see over the year so I'm interested to see what you guys think as well when it comes to the future colorways and then obviously this colorway in particular now continuing on with the shoe on the inside of your collar right here you're gonna have that same brown all throughout that area and it's gonna be slightly different than the brown on the outside of the shoe but either way you get the vibes you understand where they're going now when it comes to the insoles on this shoe let's see what these things are talking about it looks like you have that same print as you see on the outsole of the shoe it's gonna be all throughout right here you're gonna have your dark brown with the light tan all throughout that area then you're gonna have your red jump man with the cactus jack breading above the head now these are the insoles that are not the best but they're cool you know what i'm saying they're a little bit better than those blue ones that are like super thin but everybody likes those white polyurethane insoles these run i would say true to size for me i'm a size 13 uh i think the shoe fits and feels kind of like a dunk or a jordan one if anything so however you kind of would naturally wear your jordan ones i would say probably go with that size as well on this shoe in particular and uh that's kind of like all the initial first you know looks at the elements and the details of the shoe and ah, man like i said if you guys want to see a full breakdown of the history and how we got to this point because there have been a lot of different models and other stuff that is supposedly coming stuff that was supposed to come and did it and all this other stuff so if you guys want to see that let me know down below in the comment section i'm wishing you guys all good luck on the release they say that there's like 13,000 pairs or something like that it's supposed to be a really limited release i heard under 20,000 pairs either way for those that don't know it may sound like a lot but trust me they'll go quick and that's not that many pairs so again good luck to everybody and when it comes to the resale price on these these things are like 500 bucks right now so they're going well over double the retail price but it's crazy to think that at one point these things were like 2500 dollars some months ago so when we saw him first wear these at the award show and all the other stuff that was going on it was like crazy prices they said they did a shock drop on his site and it was like barely anybody got pairs next thing you know it's just like everybody wants them the price is crazy i literally saw people spending two thousand dollars on the shoe which was crazy to me you see i had to be patient and slow to get these but and that was thanks to the drop on soul steals so shout out to soul steals as well they have a monthly subscription where they give access to early release sneakers or discounted prices on sneakers that have already come out they do drops every sunday at 3 p.m they have a public market and a members market and then they also do special drops throughout the week with random shock drops with restocks and different stuff and you get chances to get stuff like this sb4s you name it so many different other models i've hit on so many cool things and got them at really affordable prices because of them so again shout out to soul steals i appreciate y'all as always and if you guys have any other questions or want to see any other videos when it comes to the jump man jacks let me know down below in the comment section and i'll make sure i get that to you guys asap i'll see you guys in another one i'm out i would never let you down yo if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level i built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well so if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how i run my businesses this is definitely going to be a place where i can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. Listen, my DNA, hey, the hey, only pop. choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I would never let you down, listen, my DNA.